Yo boys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market. We've got some brand new team of the match day cards. I'm gonna talk about them today. Just talk to you guys about investments, talk to you guys about them as cards. You guys do enjoy the video today, drop a thumbs up. Um, we got some banging, banging new cards here. Um, and these are cards, obviously you guys know we're getting every week uh, through the Festival of Football, uh, through the World Cup. It's based off of performances within the World Cup um, and all that good stuff, guys. So, first of all, in the comments down below, if there's one player you're using or you want to use from the new Team of the Match Day 3 cards, let me know. Um, I'm interested to, to, to know. And I, I will tell you guys, I've used Ivan Perisic. Um, he is phenomenal. Like, so good. It's crazy. Um, I've, I've already played 20 games with him. He, like, some of these cards are so fun for me and, and are missed out cards we didn't get in Team of the Season that I'm actually ending up using them a lot. Um, and that's kind of the deal with Perisic. Um, I started using him a ton yesterday. I had so much fun with him in Divisions. He's basically taken me to an undefeated um, Division One run, and he's been phenomenal. But I want to talk about these cards, like, kind of just as investments. Not buying yet, but just talk about them and what they're going to do throughout this week and then go out, you know, and talk about how what they're going to do um, this weekend. So... Look, it's, it's basically going to go like this. Um, they're very rare right now. Not a lot of people are opening packs. I think you guys all know that. Um, and what's going to happen is they're high. They're really high right now. I mean, we can look at some of these prices. Like, Sonaldo's like 900K. Like, they're super, super rare. There's not a lot of them on the game. Um, hard to get, hard to pack. The real supply of these cards usually comes during weekly rewards. That's when people pack the majority of these cards because that's kind of like the most time packed time of the day for these cards because you have people getting a ton of 100k packs and uh and things like that so i think that that's something that and you know where we see a really low tiago silva here i'm gonna go and pick that up um that's a tiago silva and I, I i like to do this stuff with you guys man where like if i see a good price i don't want to be scared and i want to show you guys that like i buy a card to go flip it um now that's a price where 320k i have never seen him that low i think he's been like f like mostly 400 all day there's a bid at 350 for him right now um and what we'll do right here is uh we'll probably go ahead and try to flip that uh you know i just saw him on the market at like three what was it, 358 cheapest it looks like 356 right now is his cheapest what i will do is i will go list at 354 and we will try to get a quick little flip there um but uh, honestly a lot of these cards look outstanding again i will be buying these cards probably during weekend league rewards that is uh next thursday and it's going to be like the longest time where you're letting these cards be on the market for so long that they just naturally be a marquee matchups things like that their supply just increases as time goes on and i think that that if you guys want to make some coins if you guys want to buy these cards for your teams whether it's seasons divisions next weekend anything like that that's going to be a really good buy time for a lot of these cards um and i'll, I'll tell you guys i have some favorites in here um in terms of investments my first one is paulinho um and i don't i think he's overpriced right now i've seen him as low as 400 i think that's still overpriced but i think when he does get down into like 250 to 300 range um, next Thursday, I think he's going to be a good investment because I don't think he'll get another special card. Um, and I think that this is kind of one of those rare, you know, Hulla gang midfielders, Brazilian Barcelona. I think the links are great. I think he's going to be in a lot of people's teams, um, throughout the summer. And I think that that's kind of a card that he's going to stay rare. Um, and it's just a matter of fact of, can you buy him at the right time? Which for me is going to be Wednesday, Thursday, next week. The next one that's actually very interesting to me is, uh, not that well that's a low isco some of these are being listed really low um i have the ptg isco and you know what's actually interesting about isco uh, he's up a ton like literally he's up so much um since yesterday and he just got a ptg upgrade to 96 um and i'm not going to talk about the left wing because people obviously want to play the ptg which is a cam uh, instead of that left wing so i'm not even going to speak on the on the left wing um any others in here that really stand out to me i think louis suarez is really interesting like suarez is going to be so rare this week i just want you guys to know that he is going to be so rare and a player that suarez reminds me of uh on this game would be cristiano ronaldo and it is the is it the 98 i think it's the 98 ronaldo let me see is this the is this the so guys 98 ronaldo went as low as 1.4 and because he's so rare He's just already up at 1.8. Like, he's up so much. So, I can see that happening with Suarez, where he's a super, super, super rare card. Um, and I'll show you another perfect example, if you guys don't believe me. Another perfect example of this is Eden Hazard. Just a card who gets good reviews, is the best version of himself, um, and, and stays super rare. Like, Hazard is literally max price, and Hazard went as low as 800k. Because of the reviews, because of people liking him, he's up at max price. And, and that's something you guys gotta look out for. With not a lot of people playing with the uh you know obviously less packs open it's gonna cause a lot of these players to be kind of rare 
um, if you guys kind of catch what I'm saying. Now, other things in this team that we could speak about really quickly. Oh, I also did, I didn't even mention this. I tried him out, I put him in my squad. I got him for 35K. I don't really know how good of a price that was, but it's 32K, I'm gonna lose 3K. I'm having some fun with these players. They are a lot of fun. I'm not really looking at El Hadari at all. Campbell, I'm not really looking at. The only thing I would look at with a lot of these kind of players, if they do have a good nation, if they do have a good club link, uh, EA have been dropping the uh, non-repeatable, untradeable SBC, 86 rated, 75 chemistry. Um, some of these, you know, festival football cards, I sold a Grand Quest 90, so this guy's 90 version, um, because he was going up because of links uh, from chemistry for that SBC, so that's something that you guys want to keep your eyes on, because when that SBC drops, and it dropped yesterday, um, they may drop it again on like Monday or Tuesday. All these 86s, 87s with good nations and nationalities are going up. So just to give you guys the heads up there. Uh, this dude is really overpriced right now. I would not look into that. Um, I'm not looking at him. Mina, I'm not really looking at. Could be interesting because he's a, he's a Barca center back. But still, I'm not in love with it. And he's he's way too overpriced. Paris is just somebody who's interesting. Like I told you guys, I've been playing with him and, and kind of like doing a little bit of review on stream. Looks like he's 300k right now. I mean, I think log logistically... Like 220, 230, 240k is like just such a good price. I may not sell him. I like him so much. I may keep him forever. Unless I pack him in one of those guaranteed SBCs, I just may not sell him. I'm actually in love with this card. Um, and I have no reason to sell that card. Um, so that's just to tell you guys that like I'm not feeling like selling this card. I do think um, I do think that he is worth the money, uh, if you guys are wondering. Um, and yeah, and then the goalie I'm not looking at. Thiago Silva is interesting. I actually really like Thiago Silva because it's his highest rated uh, version. And I think Thiago Silva is a card that is high in demand. I think a lot of people do um, a lot of people do like Thiago Silva. And, and I think Brazil, as they move on into the World Cup, it's the same thing with Paulinho. Like, I think Brazil is going to go far. So that's why I think a lot of the Brazilian informs, a lot of Brazilian special cards, I think a lot of those kind of cards are going to get a lot of hype, which is very good for their price values on the market, just so you guys know. Um, and I'm keeping you guys updated there. Diego Godin, I don't really love. I don't think a lot of people use him. Marcos Rojo, I think is interesting. I think because playing in the Prem, he is valuable. I don't know if I love it as like a flipping or investment kind of thing. Um, Granquist, 91 rated. Uh, he's currently 32K. If this gets really low, man, you got to look into it just because of SBC values and all that. I think Quaresma is still a little overpriced playing in the Super League. He does look pretty sick. Four star, five star. Really like Paulinho. You guys know that. Um... I think we got to get him lower, but I do like that. Messi, I'm not crazy about. Um, just because Messi this year, man, it just doesn't seem like he's got a lot of demand in Ultimate Team. I don't know what's going on with Messi. The demand just doesn't seem there. I mean, I, I just don't see demand with Messi in Ultimate Team, and it's kind of weird, but I'm just not seeing a total universal, hey, I want to go buy Messi for my team like I've seen in the past. And if you go look at Messi on the market, like, the biggest problem with Messi is look how many special cards he uses. You just have too many options. There's so many striker cards that it's actually made his right wing card. His right wing special card more valuable this year than ever. Um, and then up top, we really haven't talked about Sonaldo yet. Great investment. Um, we just got to let him get lower. He's going to be very similar to Eden Hazard, where I just don't see him dropping under 800k, 700k. Um, and he's going to just go up after uh, after all this. He's going to go up. He's going to be exactly like Hazard. Rare as hell. Um, <clears throat> I can just so see that happening. Him being very similar to Eden Hazard. And obviously Hazard's close to extinct right now. Um, is Ibra up? So Ibra is one that's also interesting. Like, Ibra was packed a lot, and I think that's interesting. I think the last team of the match day cards were only in packs for four days, and I think that's why they're a lot more rare. So that's why we're seeing, in my opinion, um, some of the other team of the match day cards go up a lot more. Where I think these cards are going to be packs for seven days. So these cards are definitely going to have more supply, which means the rise is going to be a little bit less. But yeah, I mean, we've already seen Ibra went from 440 to 490. He's not up a ton, but we've seen. I believe it is Aaron Moy went up a ton. I think Shakiri's up a lot. Aaron Moy is right now 210. I think Aaron Moy got as low as 160. Um, if we go look at Shakiri, where's Shakiri at? Shakiri is 110. So Shakiri's look. Shakiri's a prem player. He's up a lot. Nani reached a low. I, I think 60,000, and I think I saw him yesterday at 70. He's up at 70, 71. So these cards over time are starting to get more rare. They go up. They've got the demand. They're actually more in demand than Team of the Season cards because they're newer. And I think people want to use them um, because of that, because of their newness factor and things like that, guys. So this was a video, guys, on Team of the Match Day. I actually have what? A gold Lone Icons pack. Wow. Let's see what this is. I'll put this in the video. Why not? Um, but thank you guys for watching, man. I appreciate you guys supporting it. And again, let me know in the comments down below, like, who is your favorite Team of the Match Day card? I think that's going to be Crespo if we could get the... It's the baby. I mean, I don't I don't really care about that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, 
Thank you guys for watching the video today. I appreciate you dudes. Um, and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace out.